The Karnataka battle finally came to an end today after days of hectic parleys. Karnataka finally got a new chief minister. Sadaramaya has been chosen for the top job. And BK Shiv Kumar will be the only deputy CM in the state. He will also continue to remain the KPCC, the Pradesh Congress Committee chief, till the Lok Sabha elections in 2024. The Congress Legislature Party meeting is expected to start in some time from now. And just before that, both of them, DK Shiv Kumar and Sadaramaya, were seen leaving for Indra Bhavan in Bengaluru amid much sloganeering, showering of petals on them, and of course, a rapturous welcome from their supporters. It is expected that DK Shiv Kumar will be proposing Sidharamaya's name as the Chief Minister of the state in a meeting of the CLP. Joining us live now from the location of the CLP, the meeting of the Legislature Party, is Imran. Quite a welcome there. Many flowers, many slogans, much happiness. <laughs> Imran, over to you. Well, absolutely, Padmaja. After a long uh, series of uh, consultations and hectic parlays, finally the day has arrived where the, <laughs> the Chief Minister has been announced, the Deputy CM has been announced, and both are here at Bangalore. Let me give you a look of the place now where the newly inaugurated uh, the Bhavan we are, where uh, anxiously people are waiting for the Chief Minister and Deputy Chief Minister to arrive. They will address the MLS here who have come here to listen on what suggestions also the Chief Minister and Deputy CM gives to them. And after this, there is a crucial important meeting that again round of uh, uh, meeting on the list of cabinet ministers. What we're getting to know from Congress party, the 10 members will be elected the first day and they will have 10 uh, uh, ministers and one uh, speaker along with the Chief Minister and Deputy Chief Minister. As you can see here, this is the newly inaugurated uh, Bhavan uh, Bharat Jodo Auditorium where we are right now, named after the uh, the, the famous uh, walk Rahul Gandhi did across India. In fact, in Karnataka, like he uh, crisscrossed 525 kilometers. Uh, and this auditorium, in short while from now, the CM and Deputy CM will be there addressing all the MLAs of the Congress, have won one of the biggest thumping majority which they have got. And uh, we right now we just spoke to uh, uh, Arvi Deshpande, very senior leader of the Congress party, and also Nasir Hamad. Rad Deshpande said that they also are preparing a list of ministers ensuring that all the all the all the uh, cast combination is done properly and justice is be delivered to all the early, early cast and subcast in in Karnataka now this Nasir Ahmed also said that this issues like hijab uh, the committee will be formed to look into it and also importantly the minority committee's 4% reservation uh, this is what uh, uh, the more important is now for the congress is to make the list of ministers and after this today's uh, CLP meet there will be meeting with both the senior leaders will sit and discuss and present the list tomorrow to the high command. There could be some additions and subtractions done and uh, some people, uh, lobbies also will be done to ensure that DK's men, uh, people who support DK Shikumar and are, are there included or similarly Sidrama's supporters also included in that. So it's a mix of both caste combination and the supporters of both the leaders will be there in the, in the, in the list and who all will be there? We have got some few names but it finally will be uh, finalized at the High Command tomorrow in Delhi. Alright, we believe that there is quite a bit of uh, drum beating happening as well. Uh, just stay with me Imran. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we'll also go through the list of the people who have been put on paper for probably putting before the party high command to be included in the Council of Ministers. Today in the morning though, the Congress put up a united front saying that Sidharamaya and DK Shiv Kumar are on the same page. They were seen holding hands with party president Malikarjun Kharge. Both of them said that all was well in the party, but there were several discordant voices that also spoke up. What has happened to Congress party? Everything is well, everything will be is well, will be well, is going to be well. We had made a one line resolution that whatever the high command will take a decision, we will abide by it. Ultimately, Rahul ji called me and said, you all have to work together. Congress President Malikajan Kargiji called us and gave this dikat. We all have accepted whatever the formula has been generated. So let's take you through the list that has been accessed by Times Now of Cabinet Probables. Even as the Congress has made its decision clear, the big challenge is going to be how to form the Cabinet. Sources tell us that the party is trying to accommodate loyalists of both Siddharamaya and DK Shiv Kumar on the list of new names 
which is likely to be out tomorrow, are the following. In fact, we have five Lingayat leaders, including Lakshman Savri, M.B. Patil, Jagdish Shattar, Lakshmi Hebalkar, and Ishwar Khandre. Two ministers from the Muslim community, Zameer Ahmed and U.T. Khadar, could also be inducted. G. Parmeshwara, who is a Dalit leader and OBC leader, B.K. Hari Prasad, are also likely to make it to the cabinet. I believe we already have. Uh, let's quickly cut across once more to Imran. Imran, how long before the CLP starts? And is it true that we are going to have DK Shiv Kumar proposing Sidharamaya's name as Chief Minister? We'll go across to him in just a second. Let me also bring in the guest, Sanju Verma, National Spokesperson of the BJP, Shekhar Raya, Senior Journalist, Pankaj Sharma, Political Analyst, and Political Analyst, Amrit Shinoy. Sanju Verma, for very long, the BJP was saying this is a circus in Karnataka, but in about three days, they've managed to get their act together. And today, it's a show of unity. You know, uh, Padmaja, uh, let's not uh, kid ourselves. Uh, for all the false bravado about, you know, uh, showcasing solidarity with each other, everybody knows that DK Shiv Kumar and Siddharamaya are at loggerheads with each other. Uh, there is something called putting up a facade in politics. And I have to give DK Shiv Kumar and Siddharamaya for doing it uh, pretty well. Uh, but uh, there are too many dissensions. And uh, I think uh, for anyone who wants to know how this will pan out, uh, just look at the example of Rajasthan. I mean, Sachin Pilot was not some pushover. Uh, you know, under the erstwhile UPA dispensation, he was a MOS with an independent charge. He was the Rajasthan Pradesh Congress Committee head and Deputy Chief Minister. But, uh, you know, finally, uh, ambition got the better of him. And the Congress says, why not? It's good to be ambitious. Of course, it's good to be ambitious. But not when you have two so-called senior heavyweights uh, washing the dirty laundry in public, which is what is happening in Rajasthan. And mind you, uh, you know, an example which is not much spoken about, uh, but is equally true in the case of uh, Congress in Maharashtra is uh, how uh, Prithvira Chavan and Ashok Chavan ended up washing their dirty laundry in public. And the result is that the Congress has never crossed 45 or 46 seats. If you remember, Ashok Chavan was uh, removed in 2000. Okay, we'll just limit ourselves to Karnataka right now. This is temporary, it's fleeting. Amrit Chinoy, says the BJP. speak about Karnataka. From 2013 to 18, absolutely government was very, very stable. So in Karnataka, Congress is confident that uh, the government will be stable and everybody is loyal to high command decision. So already it has been shown by Siddharamaya Ji and day after uh, swearing in money will take place and we are all confident that government will be stable. There will not any kind of groupism or any kind of disturbance, uh, rebel activities. Sanju Verma. Padmaja, tell me one thing. You made a very interesting point about, you know, BK Hari Prasad being the OBC face and, you know, Zamir Ahmed being the Muslim face and G. Parmeshwar uh, being the Dalit face. G. Parmeshwar. You know, has been the deputy chief minister when Siddharamaya was the chief minister. I'm talking of 2016-17. Do you think G. Parameshwar will be happy with just another cabinet post? And I'm told that D.K. Shivkumar wants the meaty positions, uh, including the finance ministry, uh, for either himself or his acolytes. And I also want to ask one more thing. Zamir Ahmed had recently, a couple of days back, thrown his uh, hat into the ring. And he was saying that he doesn't mind being a serious contender for the chief minister's post okay. if the high command so chooses. So are you saying that Zamir Ahmed will be happy with just a ministry which is, you know, a, not a meaty one? So I think there are too many cross currents in terms of political ambitions between the OBC, the Lingayats, the Wakaligas, and in between this entire quagmire, I think for Siddharamaya and DK Shivkumar to prevent the boat from rocking will be a Herculean task. Okay, let me get in Imran also who's on the ground. What is the sense there among the supporters, Imran? Is this the end of the indecisiveness or do they suspect that in the days to come, maybe after 2024, because DK Shivkumar is going to be the president till then, there could be a little bit of churning again in the party. Over to you. Yeah. So we we have with us uh, Emily Ashok Patan, uh, follower of Mr. Sidramaya. Sir, 
is finally settled, do you think, because many people suspect it's just an uneasy alliance, more trouble will come in the coming days because D.K. Shikumar has not been given CM post. No, no, no. D.K. Shikumar has become 100%. He will also become uh, chief minister. Yeah. He is a youngster. He will be here having very good chances so yeah. in the future also. He will also become chief minister one day, definitely. So many suspect that this uh, this is like a very, uh, any time it can crack, like go the no, way no. like Rajasthan. 100%. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. We are all together. No misunderstanding there. Only media people are creating the problem. That's so all. five days, what was happening in the Delhi, sir? Oh, what problem? We are, the Congress party is a very big party. Yes. We must take all the leaders and all the uh, cash facts also confident. Yes. Afterwards, we must uh, clear the problem, no? So there is Emily Ashok Patan saying that nothing will happen, sir. What will you think? Uh, this will be uh, what the Congress uh, has decided. Hindi, Hindi. Okay, Hindi will tell you. Yes, sir. Congress has decided that Sidram is the Chief Minister and D.K. Sikumar, the Deputy CMI. Some people say that the Alaniese Alliance is not going to be more than a day. It's not like that. Because the two of them have won 135 seats in Karnataka. In this case, our leaders are good. They will do good work for all of them. बीजेपी का 40 परसेंट गवर्नमेंट थे उसके खिलाफ कांग्रेस पक्ष को जीत कर लाया है इसी मुद्दे पर कांग्रेस पार्टी ने अच्छा काम करेगा आपको क्या लग रहा है सर कि अभी सरकार चलेगी पांच साल पूरा पूरा होगा जरूर बिल्कुल चलेगा सर उसमें कुछ डाउट नहीं है जैसा हमारा सिद्रामाया जी अभी बना है सीएम बने ह� पांच साल पूरा किए थे तो इस 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 बार इस बार उस बार डीकेश कुमार नहीं थे इस बार डीकेश कुमार साथ में नहीं हैं साथ में लेके चलेंगे बोलके हाईकमांड ने उनको ये कर दिया इसके बाद से 2013 से 2018 तक जो गवर्नमेंट सिद्रामय साहब ने दिया है वही इस पे क्या है अब सिद्रामय साहब दूसरी बार सीएम बने हैं वो लेके डीके शिव कुमार साहब और सिद्रामय साहब दोनों लेके चलेंगे बोलके हाईकमांड ने उनको ये कर दिया है साथ में चलेंगे कोई कोई दरार नहीं है नहीं है नहीं है नहीं है हर वॉइसेस सपोर्टर्स ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी सेइंग दैट ऑल इज वेल विथिन द पार्टी एंड दे विल ऑल वर्क टुगेदर हाउ लॉन्ग विल विल द वर्क बट एस ऑफ राइट नाउ दे कांग्रेस सेइंग दैट ऑल द इश्यूज अखिल द सपोर्टर्स हियर दैट ऑल द इश्यूज व्हिच वर देयर हैड डिफरेंसेस वर आयरन डाउट देयर इज नो problem now and uh, the Congress will finish with the uh, five years here with one of the biggest mandate they have got. All is well. Uh, that seems to be the chorus inside the party. Uh, Shekhar Ayer from DK Shiv Kumar in the morning to all the supporters now. What do you think? Well, this is the beginning of a honeymoon period and uh, this is going to go on for some time. But uh, the biggest challenge is distribution of portfolios and the minister settling down, getting the kind of bureaucracy set they want and then you know what happens uh, what's the government function so i don't see a trouble for the next three months rather the next three months is going to be very very uh, you know nothing is going to appear on the surface mm -hmm. but once the government settles down uh, you know there are bound to be you know friction i mean that cannot be avoided but then if you look at what the rank and file leaders are saying they want these two leaders to work together hmm. so there will be a pressure because they have spent so much of money for this election <laughs> you know each mla i am told has spent not less than 10 crores so now this is a time for you know recouping their resources so that would require sweet functioning of the government so therefore there will be no disturbance uh, what i don't see a rajasthan repeating there at least till the lok sabha elections but after the lok sabha election depending on what the congress uh, is able to get in uh, from Karnataka in terms of Lok Sabha seats, then things could start. But then you see, uh, Padmaja, the fact that Sonia Gandhi intervened and asked uh, DKS to pipe down with an assurance that you know his chances are there maybe after two years or after two and a half years. See, a very important fact, in order to keep the dignity of Siddharamaya in, in fact, they have not come public with the, the rotation formula. But from DKS, you keep hearing that, you know, whatever has been agreed, whatever formula has been agreed has been done. But what is the formula? There is no public disclosure. So for the sake of the formula, I think people are going to keep their mouth shut. Though there may be a lot of rumblings in terms of accommodating leaders from various communities. But for six months, I think, Padmaja, you can uh, be <laughs> rest assured, it's going to be a rather calm time. Hey, that's great for everyone, Pankaj Sharma. But six months is what Shekhar Ayer is giving. I go before the deep understanding of politics with some of the scholarly panelists, including BJP's spokesperson, are showing. Someone is giving three months, someone is six months. They are still, you know, hopeful for some kind of a mishap. 
why a section of these people including a section of media is so actively trying to play such a disruptive role after bjp's huge loss in karnataka is not difficult to figure out some of our t anchors are behaving as more loyal than the kings some of our panelists are behaving as more loyal than the kings i can understand if bjp is a sports person say something but you know uh, uh, people other people sitting here they they are mr sharma months, i think that that's, months, that's, that's, till, that's rather that's uh, rather uh, uncharitable the four general elections that's rather uncharitable they, they let's ask yes. shekhar ayer shekhar ayer shekhar ayer why are you giving only 6 on months mr sharma takes uh, exception to you giving only 6 months what is but, your reasoning are you trying no, to be disruptive no but baja uh, we everyone expects a stable government there because karnataka is an important state and uh, this is not 2030 the problem is we are in 2023 Ten years have passed, and lot of water has flowed down Kaveri. So, and this is a new, you know, new thing. And how the chemistry gets adjusted? Yes, Dharamayya is a very, very uh, politically, uh, you know, dexterous leader. He hmm. will ensure that there are no frictions. But at the same time, he is also a leader who is known as a tough leader, a leader who is very decisive, and a leader who follows his own intuition. So there are a lot of things in this. See, we are not trying to, you know, we are not doomsday prophets. Mm. But at the same time, there are realities. Otherwise, why would D K Suresh this morning itself say that we are unhappy? Okay, respond, why, Mr. Why Sharma. Why does he say we are unhappy? That is Shekhar Ayer's reasoning. Respond, Mr. Sharma. When uh, the ambitions are different, so let's not compare two states situation uh, this way. No, these are not two states. He is saying that DK Suresh today morning is saying that we are not very happy with what is happening, but for the benefit of the party, we are going to swallow this decision. That doesn't sound like somebody who is going home and you know popping the champagne. Mr. Sharma. All right, we seem to have lost the line with him. Yes, Sanju Verma wants to respond. You know, I think Shekhar Ayer made a very interesting point uh, he's been gracious enough to give them a honeymoon uh, you know a period of 6 months i just have one interesting take on this padmaja now uh, you know uh, going by what the uh, public buzzes that dk shivkumar sorry sir kaasara nam bodhana nayakara aikena na pratiyana kodta idu sir mooru varsha new maadanta ha sevega kuli kodta idu sir sir dk sir Okay, we will just try and replay what D K Shiv Kumar uh, said a while ago. It is uh, expected that he is now going to go in at a meeting of the C L P. He is going to propose the name of Mr. Sudaramaya as the next Chief Minister of Karnataka. Yes, Sanju Verma, quickly make your point, please. Go on. Padma Ja, uh, the limited point is that if imagine that the Congress really has a great uh, outcome in terms of uh, winning uh, the requisite number of seats in Lok Sabha 2024, then. Uh, common sense suggests uh, that D K Shiv Kumar will want to extract his pound of flesh in 2024 itself, rather than waiting for 2025, 26, or 27. And suppose the Congress does not perform well in Lok Sabha 2024, from Karnataka specifically speaking, then I think uh, the knives will be out for D K Shiv Kumar, and Sidhar Maya will strengthen his position, saying, "Dekha, that is the reason I was saying, give me the hot seat." So I think either which way, this is a classic case of Delhi ka ladu. खाएंगे but they have to introspect why they have lost and they have to work like a constructive opposition first time in the karnataka bjp is openly admitting that they will sit in the opposition otherwise always they try to grab the power 
using uh, Operation Kamala kind of uh, ill, 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 uh, immoral means. Washing the dirty laundry. Oh, okay, so, so we have analysis, there. analysis coming from one side, advice coming from the other. We're going to leave it at that. We'll cut across to when uh, both DK Shiv Kumar and Mr. Sadaramaya speak in just moments from now. Before the swearing in, today they are going to speak for the first time as the Chief Minister and Deputy CM of Karnataka. Thanks very much, gentlemen and Sanjeev Arma, for joining me. Quick break.